Hello brothers and sisters, this is Paul Christian Goodwin, full of the Holy Spirit and can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Well, um, if you've already seen the notification videos, uh, you know that something was underway and I am giving this message today to uh, let you know that everything is underway. <laughs> yes, um, the job has come to a close, uh, as it was supposed to have done quite some time ago. But, um, I guess I saw fit to, uh, to try to do things my way. Uh, in some respects, and uh, but uh, I know better. I know better. Um, what I want to share with you today is that walking in faith is extremely vital. Um, it's your it's your it's your purpose. Our purpose is to glorify God. Our purpose is to be obedient to His will. Um, there's just not no other purpose. There's just no other reason to live. Um, Jesus' life and death and resurrection. Uh, was our example. It was our complete perfect example. Everything that he did, he did nothing for himself. Nothing whatsoever for himself. Everything was to glorify the Father by giving and giving and giving and giving and giving without condition to any and everyone who would listen to him, who would hear him, who would be obedient to him. Well, even those who weren't obedient to him, I mean, he, look, what's, what's, what's important here to understand is that you, we, we all know our purpose. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're the most sinister individual and uh, you know God is always with us. He is always with us. Always. He never leaves nor forsakes you. And you're being called at all times to do something. In particular, something. And until you do it, you can't move forward. You, you will remain stagnant or you will end up just going further into a pit of destruction. There is something that you were created for. Some, some special purpose you were created to do. Um, and if you don't listen, if you don't obey his commands, then you don't get anywhere. Me? I've come to some whew, real, real revelations this week, um, and I want to thank uh, I want to thank uh, my 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 prayer partner and my my disciple and and, and a list of others um, and I want to thank God. I want to thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. How much time we got here? Okay, we're good. All right. Praise God. Um, even unto death. You know, being obedient to His will. You, you, when you have your salvation, when you know that you know that you know that you are saved, that if you were to leave at this moment, 
if you were to, if you, if you, if you, if you, your your physical existence ceased at this moment, that you would be in heaven, then everything else, the world that the anything else in the world it has no value to you. I mean, the only value that it really has is that it was what you can use it for, to do something good for somebody else. You know, and. With that said, you know, this call that he has on my life is is that I know his will. I know his will perfectly. It's because that's what I ask for. It's what I pray for. And what he's placed in me even since a child was a spirit of adventure, you know, to, to go forth and, and take him along, just to, to bring him with me and bring, bring him to others, and, and that's what this, that's what this trip is about, this trip is about bringing God to everyone that I encounter along the way, um, my my destination being uh being grover north carolina of course if you know i'm leaving from hollandale beach florida to grover grover north carolina on my on my three-wheeler <laughs> mm, but my my purpose for that destination as some of you may or may not know is that my my beautiful daughter is uh she is pregnant and she will have a baby Mm, she's still early as there's still plenty of time and uh but i do want to I, I i i want i want so greatly to be there for that you have no idea but um but more importantly i know how to listen to god i know how to hear when he's telling me something we all do we all do, and it's it's so important that you become uh, that you don't have your hearts hardened to His voice. You know that you abide and you pay very close attention and do whatever it is He tells you to do. Because if you don't, if you don't, you're not going to succeed. You're not going to get anywhere. You're only going to allow temptation to consume you and and this is war I mean we're, the war is escalating right now the war is the war is the war is big time right now in the spiritual war and it's time to pick a side choose freedom freedom from sin the blood the blood my faith for victory is in the blood of Jesus. I mean, say it, believe it, appropriate it, trust it. His blood, his blood was shed that we would be one, united with the Father again. That everything that he has for us, we should partake of with ease. That we could boldly come before his throne. Well, so much more in my heart, and uh, I just really wanted to get a little something out there just to let you all know and understand where my heart stands on this 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 whole this whole mission. Um, I want to give to God everything that I can and just want everyone to understand and share that same that same love and, and walk in that same love for the Father alright well in Jesus name I pray Lord that every voice I mean every every ear that hears my voice is blessed in Jesus name thank you Father God I love you all I love you all with all my heart and soul body and strength I love you I love you
There is no other way but with him. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. If you really love me, keep and obey my commands. Only those who do what my Father wants them to do will enter the kingdom of heaven. God bless and keep you all. Amen.